so oh, beautiful. Love this. 700,000 people gathered for the Rose Bowl parade in California under an unprecedented level of security, signs of a world on edge. In Europe, the tensions are even higher. Just hours before midnight, authorities in Munich shut down two train stations after receiving information about ISIS militants planning a suicide attack. The warning came after days of security alerts across Europe. The, in the Hinweis enthaltene the group of suspects is thought to consist of between five and seven people, says the head of Munich's police. The data we were given is so concrete that we were able to identify one person. There were no arrests. Police were not sure they were even in the country. In Moscow, the fireworks display had to be viewed from a distance. Red Square was closed and two train stations had to be evacuated after bomb threats. No explosive devices were found. In southern France, two people were injured today, one a soldier, after a man tried to ram his car into troops protecting a mosque. The driver's motive is unknown. The threat of homegrown militants has many security forces on edge. British Prime Minister David Cameron, in his New Year's message, had a warning for them. When our national security is threatened by a seething hatred of the West, one that turns people against their country, and can even turn them into murderous extremists, I want us to be very clear. You will not defeat us. Back in Germany, the trains are running again, but the situation is still tense. The level of threat is high and will continue to be high in the new year, says Germany's interior minister. It will not decrease in the future. It is also possible that we will see incidents like this happen again. A sign 2016 will undoubtedly be another year of extraordinary security measures. Marissa Dragani, CBC News, Toronto.